Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Splatoon 3. Today, we're doing another weapon showcase and I was excited about this one. This is a brand new weapon to Splatoon 3. I, I sort of played it a little bit in the story mode, but it is the Tri-Stringer, which as you can see is high on range, but a little less than average on charge speed and mobility. We can spend, of course, one ticket to unlock it, 200 points for the special, looking pretty cool. Um, and if I take a look at the info for it, it has Toxic Mist, which we haven't really checked out so far in this game, a bottle that sprays the fluid of a certain creature in, the, in mist form. Opponents caught in this mist move slower and their ink is slightly reduced. The longer, oh wait, <laughs> Whoops. Uh, the longer an enemy is in the mist, the stronger the effect becomes. And then we also have our special, the Killer Whale 5.1. Unleash six speaker-shaped laser-emitting devices to surround and devastate your enemies. Lock onto an opponent, and the emitters will track and blast them wherever they go. You can continue to use your main weapon while the sub-weapon and the sub-weapon while the Killer Whale 5.1 is firing. Very nice. So I figured the best way to showcase it is here in the little practice area. You can see basically we can charge it up like we would a charger, but it shoots three shots. And the longer we shoot it up for, or the charge it up for, the closer those three shots will be together. But there's sort of two circles. So if I go like this, you can see the three shots go out. But if I hold it, they come out closer. So that also sends them farther. The thing to keep in mind is that there's sort of two circles filling up. This, the first circle is going to send out these little explosion things. And then the second circle is just showing you that it, it's charged up as far as it can go. So that's a really good thing to do is to keep it for that first circle to fill up because then you have those extra explosions, which are probably what's going to score you the splat. So that's always good to keep in mind. And then we also have this thing right here so you can see it, it's very foggy. The more time opponents spend in that, the, the worse off they'll be. Now the big thing about this thing is that it is not very good at covering turf, as you can see. I don't really know what the answer is to that one. I guess, you know, just don't focus on covering turf too much, but we can set up something like this. I do want to see. Whoa, that is so cool. So I don't really know too much on how to use that in the field, but we'll figure it out as we go along. But for right now, um, we do have some stuff to get. Weapon freshness raised. Cool. I don't know. I guess it might have been just a sticker for our profile or something. Good to know. Now, I don't think this is the best turf war weapon, but seeing how we're sort of trying to figure out things still, let's try some turf war and some regular battles on Museum Alfonso and Sturgeon Shipyard with the Tri-Stringer. Okay, so let's get started. We are in the museum with some turf war. Hopefully things turn out well here. This is yet another weapon I'm not expecting to do super well with, but I wanna try it. We wanna see how it goes. And one thing I failed to mention when we were showcasing it is that if you jump and shoot, you shoot vertically instead of horizontally. So that can be pretty good to keep in mind. But I'm just going to get out here and try to cover turf wherever I can. And try to manage my turf as, or my ink as well as I can too. Oh, we got some tender missiles heading towards us. So let's get up here a little bit. And I'm just going to try to play things as safe as I can. Like I see you over there. Oh no. Oh no, oh, <laughs> they got me. I'm really expecting this to be very similar to the spot roller where I do end up losing a lot, but I think we'll learn a ton from it either way. So I'm going to try my best as well. Oh gosh, we get off there. Let's just move this way then. Looks like a lot of our turf back at home is covered though, so that's nice. Uh, I will try to shoot at some of that stuff over there. Make sure our ink is doing good. Oh, I got him a little bit, I could hear. Oh no, ooh, that's scary. I'm going to run as much as I can. Oh no, ah, wait, wait, there they are. I almost got him. Oh geez, here they are again. Geez, that thing goes on for a while, but I got somebody. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. There, go go with that. And then I will toss that up there if I can. Ooh, it actually landed. That's cool. So I will try to, yeah, get up this way a little bit. Destroy this thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was not ready for them to pop up so soon. Yeah, a close range situation like that isn't gonna be good for the Tri-Stringer. I think a, a roller or that's actually the Splatana is gonna work out much better for them than it will for me. Okay, I'll try to get out there. Where did they go? Okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh we got them. That was very fortunate that it worked out that way. And I think somebody's over there I'm trying to be very careful here. Toss something like that up there. It makes it very unpleasant for them to sort of stick up like that. Oh, did not see that. Okay, we can get rid of that no problem now. Maybe I will. Oh no, oh no, can I get you? Oh, it was a trade, it was a trade. I'll take that. Honestly, we're not doing half bad so far. I mean, obviously not a dominating performance, but 
was not expecting me to even be able to keep up at all. So, let's toss down one of those. And then, oh, they got me with the special. Maybe a little bit overdoing it. I don't think I needed a special, but uh, we'll jump over to somebody. Actually, this might not have been even really been worth it all that much. Uh, Oh yeah, it absolutely wasn't. Try to run away. Ah, oh, that is awful timing. So they're just out here stomping us right now. And it might be also, oh, we don't have a player. We are, this is a three versus four game. So that's unfortunate too. But all that considered, the fact that I was able to get out here and do a couple of splats, pretty good. Cool. Oh, I almost got them there. I just need a little bit better aim. But yeah, I think I got two or three spots throughout this. With a three versus four game and a weapon that I know I'm not very good with, I need some practice with, I'll take that. That's a good warm up game to figure out the tri stringer a little bit. But I think you guys get the idea with this weapon. It can be very potent with the right player. So hopefully we can be that player soon. So round two of Tour Four, we'll see if this one goes any well. If it does, awesome. Either way, I think I'll move on to some ranked game modes after this, because since covering turf isn't the main advantage of this weapon, I just don't think it's this spend too much time in turf four, but we'll just try to cover up what we can, wherever we can. Go. Got some extra stuff to get over there. Very, very cool. And I'm just trying to earn up that killer whale as soon as possible, because I do like the killer whale a lot. I think it's a very effective special. I'm still sort of learning how to use it. <laughs> as you can see, I didn't get anybody with that. So I guess they have to be in vision. It's not like the Tenta missiles where you can seek them out regardless. But I think we'll get up here. It looks like somebody already was, but maybe we can help out a little bit. Hmm. I'm not seeing anybody around. Oh no, there you are. There you are, you found me. Um. I don't know where they went at all. Oh, they're over there? Wasn't expecting that. Um, can I get them? I feel like I'm out of ink. Jeez, that was ridiculous. I didn't know where they were. But I feel like I should have gotten spotted much sooner. So I'm not too upset about it. I need to remember to throw out my miss because that is something I forget about often, it seems, so far. And then I will try to first them over there. Just trying to be very specific on where I can cover up turf. More missiles are coming towards me now, so I need to be careful here. Maybe fill some stuff up over this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, can I get you? I got you. Whoa, <laughs> the splat, uh, whatever it's called. Um, tried, they tried to get me with that. The Splatcaster or something? That was scary. Honestly, not so bad so far. But yeah, I've definitely been trying to, you know, read through what you guys have been saying and apply whatever you guys suggest so I can improve and showcase these weapons better for you. Come on, can I get you? I can. Or at least help with it. And then you're right over there. Ooh, I didn't really do the best job with that, but I guess I could do that and then Oh, right here, okay, hi. <laughs> Maybe not the, the most valuable one I've ever done. Huh, one minute remaining here. I do see them over there. We're going to try to just see some of that and then, where'd you go, where'd you go? I think there's somebody over there. Oh, the missiles are coming, the missiles are coming. There we go, I'm gonna toss it over. I love the sound effect for it, uh-oh. See, now they're using that thing a lot better than I do. Just gotta find somebody, point it at them, and let it rip. Okay, gonna jump over to you as soon as I can. Wonder if I could start charging while I'm in the air? Not really. I mean, sort of, actually. Right at the end there. All right, so try to cover this stuff up. I know it's not the most effective thing to do with this weapon, but we're coming up in the last couple of seconds here. I need to do something. There we go. Luckily, it's actually pretty efficient with ink. Well, oh man, that was a little scary, but we spotted somebody somehow, so I'll take it. I think we're winning this one. Come on, just a couple more seconds. I don't know if I can get out there in time to so just cover a corner or something. Ah! <laughs> Uh-oh. So did we win this one? Was I able to get a win with the Tri-Stringer? I think so. Boom, so there we go. We're already one up on the Splat Roller. That's good to know. So I got number one Splat Assister there, number two enemy base Inker. Pretty cool stuff, I will gladly take it. Okay, so very cool with the Tri-Stringer so far. I do like the weapon. Even if it's not something I'm very good with, I can see the potential in it. So 
Definitely happy with that. We might get some extra points here for our gear, but we get level 12 in our catalog as well. So we're actually gonna stop there so that I can change the game mode, but I got four spots, five assists, two specials, and 772 points. It's really not that bad if you ask me. So let's get back into the action, because this time we'll be doing an anarchy battle. One or the other, what do we have? We have tower control or rainmaker. You know what, let's try some Rainmaker. I don't really think I've had the chance to play this one too much, so we'll try out Rainmaker and see how it goes. Okay, so Rainmaker is something, of course, we've played in Splatoon 1 and 2, but I haven't played it too much here in Splatoon 3. So how it works is that there's a big Rainmaker to get, and then you can use that to sort of score points. I don't remember exactly all the details, but hopefully it all goes well. Um, but you can see there's these big pedestals, and that's where we're supposed to get the Rainmaker. So for right now, it's right here. We need to get it before they do, if possible. I might just run out and try to grab it. There we go, we had the Rainmaker, so that's good. So we just need to run it over there, and I got it pretty far. So that's good, now it's going to set up here and we can break the shield again. And I'm sure that, you know, things might not go perfect in this round. We'll still have to figure out how things, oh gosh, are best handled. Right now, everybody is sort of going for each other, it's a little crazy. I see a lot of people spotting over here. Why is nobody going for the Rainmaker, though? Am I misunderstanding something? Okay, they have the Rainmaker, so they're taking it now. I will toss it over if I can. Oh no, they are all over me. Uh, this is not good. I'm gonna try to run, get some distance. Ah, cause you can see the Rainmaker is a very powerful weapon and they just broke the water level. Okay. Uh, so I guess there's multiple levels to it now? I don't remember that from before. Oh gosh, I'm in trouble here. So uh, we have the Rainmaker. Our goal right now then is to defend our teammate as much as possible. And there's more of them that to get around to with the water level lower. This is neat. I don't remember it being that way before. See, why are these two fighting when the Rainmaker's over here? I don't know, that seems a little odd to me. Okay, come on, can I get ya? No. <laughs> I feel like there's too much action here. I can't focus too much on actually using the tri-stringer correctly. I'll try to. Just send that over there. Oh no. Ah, oh, geez, they got me with that? You're kidding me. Yeah, these players obviously know what they're doing a little bit more with it being an anarchy battle. So that could be a little bit crazier. Okay, got it. Not really. I thought I was trying to fire the little extra things there. I feel like I need to charge up the Tri-Stringer a little bit more. I let go of it too soon, and they're not actually getting the explosion shots out. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Right now that was a knockout, but we had a good start. We grabbed it, we brought it pretty far, but we just didn't follow up with anything. So I think that just relies on me being a little bit more accurate and effective with the Tri-Stringer. I'll try a couple more times. If things seem like a huge struggle, we can always just go back to Turf War. So we're back on the same map with more Rainmaker. Took me a while to find this game, so hopefully we can actually put in some good work and win this one. I was definitely running around and trying to practice up with aiming and stuff though. Yeah, I'm gonna go out to this way. And you know, while we're heading out, it is good to try to cover up with some turf as much as we can. And then you can see them over there. I'll try to do a bit of that. Ooh, there we go, we got a splat, awesome. So we lost to Rainmaker for right now. That's okay, I'm gonna toss that over and just try to stop whoever I can. For right now, I gotta do a bit of that. There we go. Ooh, that was huge! Awesome! Oh no, oh no, big jump! <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> it fell straight into the water. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble here. I'm gonna try to wail at them and see if that does anything, because I'm sorta stuck at the moment. Um, I spotted somebody, that's good. I don't know what's happening right now, I'm sorta panicking, but we got a good, good couple of spots, but they're gonna take that Rainmaker back. The problem is somebody picked up the Rainmaker and then immediately fell in the water, which I feel for you, buddy. I feel like I would've made that same mistake. Uh, let's run backwards. Okay, wait a minute. Oh no, I'm in huge trouble here because I missed my one shot, but at least we traded the splats. That one shot, if I could've landed, I think I would've gotten them straight away, but I think I'm starting to figure it out a little bit. I don't wanna get too overconfident with it, of course, but I'm trying to do what I can with everything here. Okay, so where is it out right now? Looks like we have some opponents over this way. I'm trying to deal with. Uh, I might need to okay, go over there. Oh no, oh no, oh there's somebody behind me. Darn, I didn't realize. I mean right now we are in the lead with points. We have nine points remaining to get through. We can definitely handle that. So far I like Rainmaker a lot, it's a fun game mode. But I would love to hear your thoughts, not just on Rainmaker, but on the uh, Tri-Stringer. Oh, I got another spot there, that was awesome. Have you tried this weapon yet, this brand new Splatoon 3 weapon? Do you think it's good? 
worth its while. Okay, here we go. Come on, I get you there. Then I back it up. And I get this, the whaler. There we go. Okay, okay, we're doing stuff. There we go, another splat. Somebody snagged the Rainmaker, good. Oh no, oh no. They're coming to get me. I'm the out team. Ah, I got a little suck against the wall there, which is what I wanted. And we lost to Rainmaker again because I couldn't really follow them and help. But I'm hoping I can just jump over. This might be a little risky, but what I could try to do right away is just throw down one of those. Yep, not gonna work. Okay, that's my own fault. Can't always jump down like that, but it's fine. Because we are still significantly in the lead. If we could just keep it, I'm just gonna head out normally. They have the Rainmaker for now, but I think we could stop them. Gonna toss that over just a little bit. Oh, they're behind me. Gotcha. Tossing that back over again. Oh, they're gonna pop it this time. Oh, gotcha, that was a direct hit. Whoa, that was so cool. Oh, they're coming up behind. I do see them. Oh, I'm figuring it out. <laughs> We're doing it, and we won. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. We did good with the tri-stringer. I'm, I'm just, I'm so surprised. That I'm like, that game, it worked out. We got the knockout and everything. So let's see how many spots we got that game. We got number one overall splatter, number one enemy splatter, and number one ink consumer. Pretty good stuff too. I am so excited by that. Good job, team. And of course, it wasn't a singular effort. Our whole team did really good there. But I'm just also happy with my personal performance. So we got 13 spots. That's also just really good for me personally with any weapon. 13 spots is quite a lot. So hopefully that just wasn't a one-time event. Maybe we can keep bringing the heat in the next round. We'll have to wait and see. But overall, really fun game. So another round of Rainmaker at the same exact spot. We have one win and one loss. So let's see if we can't even, or put that ahead so we're not so evened out. Guess we'll have to wait and see. This map is so cool though. It's like a big party. So I will try my best to get out here. Just like that. And it looks like, yeah, we could toss, whoa. Oh, I was not ready for you. That's not so good. But that's okay, we'll just start fighting over this thing as much as I can, and it looks like they might get it at first. But, you know, turns or turnarounds are certainly possible. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, time to run. I, I need to stop jumping out like that, because that has not been a good idea so far. Uh, But their Raidmaker is one of those game modes where you can turn around and just instantly lose if you're not careful. So, certainly need to be careful about all of that. And I see you over here, trying to put a stop to it, but I can't reach out that far. It's not that long range. Whoa. Jeez, okay, this is really not going so well. I feel like they are all over the place right now. Oh, and they're right at the end, so we need to go, go, go. Come on, come on. And they just won. <laughs> okay, that one was really one-sided for sure. So it's a little bit back and forth so far. I feel like they just had sort of this crazy momentum on this team, and just nobody was able to stop them. So I think that maybe next round things will go a little bit better than that, jeez. Okay, now this is where we could have a chance to maybe even it up. I think I learned a lot from that last round. Believe it or not, it was a short period of time, but I think jumping over to our teammates can sometimes be a really bad idea, especially at the very beginning, when those extra moments are of so much essence, because if they get the Rainmaker from here to there, it is just so easy for them to run over and win. But I'm gonna toss one of those over, and I see them already. There we go. And hopefully we can just, there we go. Grab it like that, that's pretty big. I'm trying to watch out for, yeah, people like you. We're gonna try to take it. Now, obviously my weapon's not the best for doing that, but I'm trying. Okay, we got the, the roller person over this way. I think I need some more ink soon. Oh no, come on, can I get you? I got you. I don't know, somebody is saying they need help or something. I don't know what that person's saying. It is hard to tell. Are they saying people to come over or booyah? I don't know what it is, but it just shows their name over and over again. It keeps making a noise. I don't know what that's supposed to signify, but we lost the lead. I wasn't even able to grab it really because I was splatting them and we were keeping it controlled. But the problem was, oh gosh, can I get up here? Oh no, oh no, this is not good. I didn't realize that they were all just right there. Oh my gosh. I feel like I held the center line really well at first though. So. I'm just a little confused on what was going on behind me. Okay, toss that stuff over. Oh, I got somebody. Okay, come on. No, no, no. No, no, stop him. Ah, oh, I couldn't. I really tried that time. 
So it looks like we're starting to rack up some losses here in Rainmaker, but I feel like I'm having an impact. At least that game, I was able to do stuff. I don't know where my team went for a little bit. If they were just being held back by another player or something, I, I don't know what happened, but there's only so much I can do about my team, and if things don't work out, if we don't synergize, then, you know, that's that. We will just move on to the next round, and we'll keep trying to make things work out with the Tri-Stringer. Oh, we're trying Rainmaker on a different map this time. Maybe this is the change we need to actually get another win. Guess we'll see in just a moment. Okay, but so far I am enjoying Rainmaker and this weapon. I'm honestly just so pleased because I am making more of an impact than I thought I would with the Tri-Stringer. I was so worried that, okay, I gotta get out there. I'm trying to fill up some turf so I can actually use my special here. Oh no. All right, they're already out here, so I need to be careful with my ink and then try to get rid of them wherever I can. This is not going out so well. I think my, my strategy is to not panning out. And then they got that one, but I got somebody. That's good, I can use this too, the killer whale, and try to at least finish them off like that. That was good. We have the Rainmaker with a full enemy team wipeout. So here's our chance to go, go, go. And I'll set up some of those up there if I can. I don't know where they're gonna be coming in from. It looks like right over here, so I can try to Oh no. Oh, okay. I'm in trouble. Okay, we got somebody. This is crazy. They are on the lead for the time being, but I need to try to go and grab that Rainmaker soon. I just flip with the positioning I'm normally in with the Tri-Stringer, it's hard to do that. Okay, I tried to get them. Oh, okay, they're taken out. But here comes our teammates. Oh no, no, don't jump to me, don't jump to me. I don't know how I didn't get that person at a distance. I feel like I, I hit them pretty well. I don't know what that person was doing. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna hop over like that and just do what I can. I might want to try to grab that Rainmaker. I'm working with the miss pretty well so far. Ow, that's not good. I should've did the killer well. I had the chance, but oh my gosh. We have the Rainmaker. You just gotta go and run with it, buddy. They're gonna be chasing you down. We'll try to chase him back. Okay, lost a Rainmaker, but this is my chance to at the least cover up some enemy turf, get the killer whale set up. And then where are the opponents at? Wherever they are, we can just set up the killer whale to focus on them. I think maybe longer distance could be better. Come on, ah, oh, I'm gonna get spotted by that. And a full team wipeout too? Not good. All right, here's our chance to get back up and get over there. Uh, Looks like I can get over there and maybe do that. Not far enough, so far. Okay, come on, come on. Let's throw the mist here so that they don't go up this way. Oh, I might have not wanted to do that. Now that I'm looking at this. And see, okay, this is not my ink. I don't know why I thought it was my ink for a second. I shouldn't have jumped down, that was a huge mistake. I think we'll find a new team, see if we can't do anything with that. But I wanna try one more Rainmaker. Cause I feel like once again, we had some decent impact. I love that dance so much. So silly. Uh, but yeah, we got defeated again. So it looks like we're gonna go overall negative when it comes to wins and losses, but I think that the experience we're gaining from these rounds is more worth it in general, in the long run. So we got Turf Inker, I got Rainmaker Stopper, some good stuff there, but minus two points again. It's good that we gain eight points for winning. It sort of keeps me around the same spot, but oh my gosh. Let's try to find a new team and maybe that reset will help out a little. In the meantime, I do wanna see what Judd has to say. Judd always has something he's full to tell us. Wanna do a squid surge, swim onto a wall, hold B, then release it, and off you go. Uh, the squid surge is perfect when you need to climb a wall fast to get to the top, on, get the drop on someone. If you got a minute, why not practice your squid surge? Well, I've actually already done this um, in story mode plenty of times, but yeah, you just hold B, and you jump up, and then boom, there you go. Okay, not bad. So now we know. Uh, and since we have the cash, I think, you know, let's buy our daily um, shell out machine reward. It's gonna be some food tickets, which at this point I think like it's a little too late in today's episode. So we'll just go and do another round in a moment and hopefully that one turns out a bit better. Okay, so we're back at Mahi Mahi Resort. I mean, I got our one win here. I think we actually have two tri, -str tri stringers. I don't know if that's actually good. We usually don't want too many of the same weapons. So I missed out on that, there we go. But I'm just following them, which is not what I want too much. There we go, whoa, let's try to get you. Oh my gosh, that is not a good start. They got rid of both of us. That's not what we want. A full wipeout to start things off in Rainmaker is probably as bad as it gets. They have that Rainmaker now. 
All right, come on. I'm trying to sort of keep my bearings here, but oh my goodness, it won't calm down. We gotta go this way or something, throw that mist over. And then get up here. They have the Rainmaker, not a big surprise there. Where are they, <laughs> is the question. I'm just going to pop this if I can. I gotta make sure I'm not exactly in the way or it will pop me too. Let's try actually using it this time. As you can see, it launches these big explosions, which can be super useful. We're gonna try getting up here. Ah, oh, couldn't quite. All right, we were we were getting closer, and that's where sometimes you need to wait for your teammates to take the lead. Sometimes it's not the best idea to do that. Okay, so right now we just need to actually go out there and get it, though. It looks like they're going that way. Oh no, is there somebody? There's somebody behind me! I can't fight everybody else, and these guys are sneaking around. That is so frustrating. Oh my gosh, they are dominating us right now, so we gotta get out there, throw out some more mist. They're throwing out that Booyah Bomb. They got all their specials all at once. This is a synchronized team. I can't do anything about that. So, you know, I think we had our full on Rainmaker. I did what I could. We won one Rainmaker game, so that's something. But I just don't think I'm good enough quite yet for consistent ranked play. So we'll try one more Turf War to finish off today's episode and be done there. Okay, so we're do doing one more Turf War to finish off today's episode. Hopefully we can get a win here. We'll have to wait and see but we got one turf four win earlier in today's episode, right? And I feel like I was still figuring out the weapon a little bit, so hopefully now I can you know, get some good turf coverage, make the most of the killer whale too, because we can actually, if we do the proper amount of coverage, like that, we can get a killer whale pretty early and then set that up. Oh, I see you over here. Come on, oh, okay, it was a trade. I'll take a trade, that's fine. I feel like I should have been able to get them there, though, of course, but we'll work on it. I'm gonna jump over to this player, because I want to get up there and start covering more turf as soon as possible. We do have, you know, a Charger, Tri-Stringer, but we also have some good coverage weapons on our team, so I think we're fine. Ooh, that wasn't so bad. And I, I once again traded. I hit that one shot, and I thought that would be a little bit more. What I probably should have done is charge shotted afterwards the ledge, so that when they try to climb up to get me, they get splatted, but Obviously, that is some quick thinking that can only really be achieved by playing a lot. So that's exactly what I'll do. But in the meantime, I can yeah, launch some of those up there just to make sure they don't really keep it. I wanna toss it over. Oh no, oh, I see them coming over. I gotta be careful. Oh no, I'm in trouble. Jeez, that is the one thing I've noticed that I will definitely be using against other Tri-Stringer players now is just try to cut them off. If you just get up and to their faces and really overwhelm them. It's very hard to actually land your shots. And when you do, you don't have time to charge it, so it's not very good anyways. Okay, so we're just gonna hop up here and then go like this, cover up some turf. Doesn't see, ah, they see me, they see me! I got one of them though, that's good, and the other one's stuck in my ink. So it was something. Just trying to get those sort of little spots back in our control so that we can start covering turf from there again. I see you. How did that one not land though? I had the X and let go, but by the time it actually hit them, it feels like they have weapons that are a lot more accustomed to covering turf, so they don't even have to worry about actually splatting us, which once again, that's why you probably don't want to play these kind of weapons too much in turf war, but I was getting a little fed up with, <laughs> with Rainmaker, so. This is what we're going with right now. And you know what, there's still a chance here. If I toss that maybe over there, fill up on some ink, because I need it. Come on, ah, oh, I missed my shot so bad, and this got me with the Trizuka. This is our last chance, and things are not going well, so I'm gonna hop back out there, cover up whatever turf I can. We get some splats, that's cool too, but I'm not expecting it too much at this point. Come on, come on. I, I heard them with the ink jet here. Come on. Ah, oh, I couldn't quite finish them off there. Yeah, I just, once we're behind like this and I don't have a lot of ground to work with, it's really hard to do anything with the Tri-Stringer. So obviously this weapon has its weaknesses. I don't know if it's the best weapon in the world, but when you do get a good group with it, it is a ton of fun. So I will say that much. I had a lot of fun with it, even if we didn't win very much in today's episodes, the good moments we had were really, really good. So yeah, definitely let me know your thoughts on the Tri-Stringer. Do you think this is a super worthwhile weapon or not? You use it a lot, maybe you're a Tri-Stringer main. I'd love to hear all about it, but for right now, let's see how many points we've earned up in today's episode. 
Might swing by the shop to see if there's anything extra we can grab there. Even though I don't have a ton of money at the moment, I need to earn some more up. But the best way to do that for me is probably Salmon Run. So I'm gonna be doing some of that more next episode. So let's stop here. I've had my fill. But still getting seven to 800 points with a Tri-Stringer, I don't think that's that bad. In Turf War at the least. Uh, let's head out this way. And I will just go over to the headgear and we'll start seeing if there's anything I wanna grab real quick. Since I don't have a ton of money, I might just focus on whatever really piques my interest. But honestly, we've, we've bought through a lot of the equipment already. We got the o Ocho Octophones. So I'll get those. Those are cool. That was a good chunk of my cash right there. Maybe we will buy maybe a cheaper shirt. It was the, uh, the Berazushi Black Tee. And then we only have one more pair of sandals there, which we have a good chunk of sandals. So I think I'll leave it like that for now. But, but yeah, like I said, that was the Tri-Stringer. I had a lot of fun with it. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Splatoon 3. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.